For 28-year-old Habimana Jean Daniel, Lake Kivu has been his home since childhood. He started fishing at the age of 10, but now helps take tourists across the waters, especially during the seasonal break when fishing is suspended to let stocks recover. The output from fishing has been reducing over the years, especially due to gas issues. That's why I decided to become a boat driver, focusing on tourism for now, but I still do fishing once in a while. Some years back, the build-up of gases killed fish and people collected them from the shore. But since methane extraction started, that has not happened. Beneath this lake lies one of the world's largest methane reserves. Scientists say a careful extraction is not only powering homes, but also reducing the risk of a rare natural disaster, a riminic eruption. Of course we are cautious. It feels like sitting on a time bomb. But since the extraction started, we feel safer. This week, Rwanda's Prime Minister visited Rubavu to assess the Shema power plant, one of the country's largest investment in converting methane into electricity. Officials say the Prime Minister discussed with plant managers how the 309 million US dollar facility can boost output from the current 56 to 84 megawatts. For fishing communities, this is good news. It reduces gas in the lake protects fish and maintains the vital gas-fish balance. That is one of the most important plants that provide electricity to the country. He guided how we can increase the capacity of the plant, how we can extend so the plant can give even more electricity because the country needs electricity. The team around will work towards making, making sure we fast track that. So there's a potential, uh, whether for the resources in terms of uh, the gas that is in the lake, whether for all the facilitation that needs to be done for the plant to increase the amount of electricity. Gas extraction is done in a way that doesn't harm fish or people. We also support fishing communities through providing training and resources to ensure the lake remains safe for livelihoods. Lake Kivu's future prospects and potential are as deep as its waters, carrying the promise of energy, prosperity and a better life for generations along its shores. For communities, fishing remains the backbone of their daily life. But with the number of energy projects increasing, the challenge now is balancing conservation, safety, while protecting livelihoods. As Rwanda advances its methane to power projects, Lake Kivu remains central, a source of food, energy, and hope. But that plant right behind me is also a reminder of the nature's power, especially beneath the surface and the need for careful balance. A center should be up for CGTN, Dubafu, Western Rwanda.